Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amy and this is Let's Discuss where we just chat about anything that is going on that is really interesting me at the minute in the mummy vlogger family channel circle on YouTube. Oh, the light. If I sound like at all nasally or anything like that, it's because my allergies are so bad at the minute. I've taken like the strongest um, antihistamines I can and I've still got the worst allergies i can barely hear i'm like sinusy and if you can relate please just know just know that i'm sending you i'm sending you my love okay because i understand it's like such a beautiful day outside and i really want to go outside but the minute i step outside i'm like sneezing it's not fun time light that's kind of following me about so that's kind of cute isn't it i'm going to be talking about the eight passengers again not specifically ruby Ruby and her, I think her name's Ruby Frank, is that her full name? Ruby, I've always just known her as Ruby and like the eight passengers, I've never actually sought to find out her last name and it's, I think it's Frank. For today's video, I did a video on them last time which was basically covering the new problematic things that they're doing and I will link it up here. I mentioned a couple of things which I'm going to go into further detail today. So I mentioned number one, I mentioned the connections page which is Ruby and Jody. They're like partners in this find your truth, almost like religion that they both got going on and they have this Instagram page called connections and on there you'll find a variety of you know various different questions that they have no business answering but they answer them anyway also leave link to a facebook page which i have still got access to so i'm going to go into more detail there because on this facebook page i alert it to being somewhat of a cult and i can't think of any other way to describe this because their beliefs are so strong they don't want you to have an opinion just share how much I feel for for all of you out there, not just for this mom, but there are a lot of painful experiences that are going on right now. And I knew that when Jody and I started this Facebook group, that it would grow quickly. But they're, they're very, you know, anti-LGBTQ+. They think that mental illness is a choice. They don't believe in prescribing medication because it will go against your truth, your inner truth, or whatever the hell that means. I'm Jody Hildebrandt. I have a very sincere question and invitation for everyone here. Those of you who have been on the text thread, you're listening to the questions, we do a video, and then you see the responses that come. Many of the responses are in direct opposition to truth. Many of them get very aggressive. They use foul language. They are threatened. They get reactionary. They show up in a very entitled, arrogant, adulating posture. That is distortion. Predominantly, the young people are the ones that are acting entitled. They're quite wishy-washy with their answers. If you've seen anything on my connections page, um, Ruby is extremely she takes about five minutes to even vaguely get to the question that's being asked. The reason why I call it a cult, which I know full well, like, let's not be like, I know, I, I, I don't know if you can find another word to describe this page and what, what they're trying to get. I just, it's not a support group, which is what I think they're trying they're trying to make it seem like it's a support group and it's not. So Jody says, what to expect from Mums of Truth? Welcome to Mums of Truth. Truth is under attack in our world and we want to link arms with you and support you on your journey. There's one aspect of this group that makes it unique. We are not here to talk about your opinions, feelings, or what you think about the world. We're here to educate and arm you with principles. And the thing is, is that that would be all well and good, but their whole Mums of Truth Facebook page is all about people asking, um, people posting either anonymous or non-anonymous uh, questions and then people answering them. And five times out of 10, neither Ruby or Jodie will even reply. But when they do reply, some of these replies are just, oh, Oh, they get to me. This group is designed to help you understand how principles apply to your life and use your agency to use principles as a tool and a weapon against distortion. Whenever you think about any of these larger 
not cop this is the real this is a really hard thing to say like i'm gonna relate it back to you know like scientology for instance you know the thing that like tom cruise and the other people are all involved in there's lots of dark things about the scientology place and i'm not gonna get into it but they use a lot of big late like laboursome words is that a word they use loads of really big words that don't really make a lot of sense and they go on and on and repeat the same words over and over and over again and all of this kind of stuff and these people are doing that as well um your agency weapon against distortion and i'm just like oh my god I, i'm still not entirely sure what they're banging on about they believe that you need to try and find your inner truth and that that you're not being true to yourself and that not true to yourself comes across as distortion or something and you can create you can have distortion in a variety of different things for instance they believe that taking antidepressants is a form of distortion and that basically you shouldn't do it that kind of thing okay so there was this one question on this facebook group that says i have a curious question that maybe ruby or judy jody it's not judy it's jody jody it better be jody because i i said her name wrong last time really anyone if they feel they can are the parents able to have privacy in order to un and this is what ruby said ruby said in order to understand the answer you need to understand the principle of authority parents have authority over their children children answer to parents parents never answer to their children of course parents have privacy children cannot hold the world of adulthood children should not be exposed to adult responsibilities it is much too heavy and burdensome and beyond their ability to manage of course parents have privacy it's discretion children do not have privacy it is the parents ro role to know everything about the child and the thing is is that it was the last bit children do not have privacy it is the parents role to know everything about the child and it's like yes ruby I mean, your kids definitely, of all kids, your kids do not have privacy. They're, they're whatever, they're, everything about their kids has been displayed online. And that is the whole hypocriticalness. It's, everything about what she says is so unbelievably hypocritical. She says that, oh yeah, like um, children shouldn't have to weigh out adult responsibilities. It's like, didn't, like, basically your children were used as cash cows on your YouTube channel. They basically have like, pave the way for your financial success yeah. i think to a certain extent like yes you need to let your children have privacy I can't imagine being a child and not having any form of privacy and th she did hit the nail on the head saying you know children do not have privacy it's like no no no. your your kids definitely do not have privacy like let's be completely real her kids definitely do not have privacy parents never answer to their children and i think that's so unhealthy Whenever, whenever I feel like I've done, I like Ruby strikes me as a type of woman, just based off of what I've seen of her, who will never apologize to her children, who will never admit that she's done wrong or ever expose herself to be vulnerable to her children. And I'm the complete opposite. If I have maybe shouted at my child or he, I overreacted or handled things in a way that like, wasn't necessary maybe i just shouted a little bit too loudly because it does happen obviously um if that's the case i will always apologize to my children or i always say no you were right i should have handled it better but by the sounds of it this isn't what ruby does and i think that just that it teaches your child that that their emotions aren't valid i'll either always think that they're in the wrong and it will affect their self-esteem or they'll go the other way and they'll be the type of person who will never apologize or ever accept wrongdoings because their parents didn't show them that adults are also vulnerable, if you see what I mean. That's just the way that this came across to me. Loads and loads of different posts like this. Someone sent the question basically saying, my child's gay and I don't know what to do. And some of the answers to this were, one person says like Jody was basically saying that, you know, that, that being gay is a lifestyle or that being gay is, um, is a choice and that you need to work, help them through working through the distortion, which is basically what I was trying to say, where something that that is not that is not real or something like you're, you're not being true, true to yourself. Like truth is the opposite of distortion in their eyes. I can't quite grasp this one. Sorry, Jody. Being gay isn't a lifestyle. It is the truth scientifically that being gay isn't a choice. The same way scientifically the laws of gravity exist. 
This child should be proud of himself. Coming out is an easy is not an easy thing to do. It's clear that this is an honest thing. He's being really honest and transparent with his mum and dad and he's sharing something quite personal about himself. Also taking responsibility and being his true self, which is by the way, which is the way God really wants him to be. And the thing is, is that they'll have quite a few comments from uh, saying, basically saying like, yes, like being gay is a product of what they see on TV and stuff, which I have seen those comments and I literally just wanna like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But then there's also people saying, hmm, like that's not quite true. Uh, and interesting interestingly enough, these comments haven't actually been deleted because most of them just like, just go. And it really is a whole thing. You managed to convince their followers that taking medication is like distortion and all of this kind of stuff. This one woman wrote in, um, was talking about her daughter having really bad self-esteem with her acne. And I'll read the last little bit. Her doctor has advised we try a drug called uh, Accutane. I'm erring on the side of caution with this as I've heard of this medication causing some nasty side effects. My daughter knows that I'm currently thinking it over and she will not stop pestering me. Which by the way, but um, her daughter is 14. If your daughter, if your 14 year old daughter needs to go on acne cream, which is like, it's a thing amongst quite a lot of children, like quite a lot of young teenagers have to have to take these different like steroid creams or whatever they are on their face. I for one have to take steroid cream on my hands because my hands get really, really bad. Anyway, completely beyond the point. This shouldn't even be something you should be umming and ahhing about. Just if she wants to do it and she's 14 and the doctor thinks it's a good idea, maybe you should do it. If you don't let me go on it, I'll never forgive you. It'd be stupid to say no. I'm feeling fearful that allowing her what she wants will only enable her behavior. I'm feeling fearful that by giving, that by letting my child take this cream for my acne, it will enable her behavior. This is an uncommon. At the same time, I'm torn between giving her slack as I know she is going through something. How and do elements of vanity and insecurity overlap with principles of truth? Is it possible for vanity to exist among responsibility? Yeah, yeah. I like your child needing acne medication is not a form of vanity. Like what is going on? What is these? And this might be one person's example, but I promise you on this group, they all just, they not, not all of them. Cause as I've just pointed out, some people are going like, oh, it's a bit strange. And maybe people that have like slipped in through the cracks a bit like me, but a lot of these followers echo what Judy and Jody, Judy again, Jody and Ruby say all of the time. And this is the reason why I called it a cult at the very beginning, because they all echo these beliefs, which just make me go, what? And then as well as that, you can't, there's no room for discussion. So it does become like this little echo chamber of thoughts. And it's just, it's mental. Anyway, so the comments to that, quite a few people are going, hmm. Mm, as they should do, which I was actually quite happy about. Um, I think some people actually join this group thinking it's like one thing and then they then join and then quit because they're like, oh, right, okay. But the next thing I wanted to discuss, which ties into it. So when I was on that page, they are advertising a trip. <laughs> I can't wait to share with you guys this trip. Basically, tick number two on the cult-like behavior. Step one on our cult finding list is we've now found ourselves a group of people who echo our beliefs. And where do we send them? A retreat, let's send them on a retreat. So basically, as I was going through their Facebook page, I've realized that they're actually doing a trip. And I mentioned this in the last video, but today we're gonna actually go through it. And it's got all the hallmarks for a scammy, <laughs> for a scammy retreat. It's non-refundable and you have to pay for your own accommodation, uh, but you do get food tied into it as well. It's a whole bundle of fun. Do you feel like your lack of connection in your marriage and the discord with your children is your fault? Probably is if you're anything like these people. Experience life on life renewal with Jodie and Ruby this summer. Spending two days with Jodie and Ruby will give you an intimate experience where you could be genuine and get your questions and concerns answered. Let's find out a little bit more about Jodie. So it says she has spent over 25 years working with women just like you to help facilitate positive and powerful change. 
but she doesn't explain what she's been doing. She's got MS, so she's got a master's. Is that a master's? I'm pretty sure it's a master's. But I don't understand. Okay, Ruby has spent the past two decades being a wife and mother to six children and is a certified mental fitness trainer. A certified mental fitness trainer. What does this mean? <laughs> Can someone please tell me what this means? So there's basically two options. So you can either go two days in St. George and it includes guided hikes, jet ski activity, life on life conversations, training sessions, two lunches and one dinner. Okay. And that is for $675. Dollars. And then two days in Lake Havasu. Havasu? I'm not obviously American. Don't tell me. Arizona? Is that... Is that Arizona? I don't know. If I'm right, <clears throat> I'm not very good with American states. 3,800 dollars Features and date... Okay, so on this one, you get private boating activities, life on life conversations, training sessions, and... So basically, your money is going into the private boating activities. And they obviously haven't got that many people that have signed up because underneath it is there's three dates of limited space. Enter retreat to receive 10% off and they've still got all of their things on. So that's interesting. Basically you're paying 3,800 pounds for two lunches, two dinners and a boating activity. Surely not, do you know what I mean? I'm just a bit like, Hmm. So you're telling me that I've got to pay $675 to go hiking with a jet ski activity. That makes no sense. I'm so confused as to where these people are hiking because it doesn't look like that place has any water, but I might be completely wrong there. Who really knows? So basically, you have got to make your own lodging reservations and you get to experience life on life renewal. Get 48 hours of personal coaching, real life intimate interaction so basically you're paying a lot of money for some food and i don't even know how much of this i want to find out just how much boating i'm actually going to be doing because say okay say if i wanted to go on this saint george thingy majiggy we've got the retreat we've got the we've got the schedule i love a good schedule okay so this is a saint george retreat so what's going on with the same okay so conversations and jet ski activity what is this training is this training like their mental training is that what's going on i think what they mean by training is that they're doing their mental gymnastics training but the jet ski activity which i'm sorry you don't have to pay to go for a walk so let's let's not even bother there conversations and jet ski activities how are you supposed to be having a conversation whilst you're on a jet ski and that is from one till four you're telling me that for three hours you've got to pay like basically 700 or like we just broke it down you could be paying up to like one thousand dollars when you're including your boarding and things oh that's just a lot of money so this whole thing is completely non-refundable and the reason why i'm going on and on and on and on and on and on about like tell me how much like skiing or whatever like skiing boating and all this that we're doing because it says your registration is non-refundable, but we will give you a credit towards any future connections events if you need to cancel. But I don't understand why it can't be non-refundable. How can a hike be non... How is it non-refundable? Yeah, I kind of get it if you're putting down a deposit or whatever for the boating or the skiing stuff, but a hike? And even so, like, if one person cancels, why is that a massive... Also as well, um, which I'm not really very surprised about, life and life retreat are open only to women. So if you wanna go on a guided hike and meditation mental gymnastics training with Jodie and Ruby, definitely go check that out. But I'm gonna be completely honest with you, why it's non-refundable, I have no idea. So they've basically, they've managed to gather their troops and now they're sending them all out to a little retreat where they can all do their mental gymnastics training. I just, I the mind boggles, the mind boggles. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Bye.